Good morning, Oklahoma. I'm Mark Johnson, and welcome to Cow-Calf Corner. This week's topic, as we think about spring breeding season, we've had these nice rains across the state of Oklahoma. We probably have got bulls turned out or we're ready to do so, is just thinking a little bit about your production system, analyzing your particular farm and ranch relative to when you intend to market calves long-term, and think about this holistically relative to the genetic investment that you make in a set of bulls or even what kind of AI sires we're gonna use or, or which herd bulls we turn out with which set of cows. And there's a lot of depth to that question, but as we think about things that influence your marketing endpoint for a set of calves and how you're gonna use a particular bull, I always say the bull buying dollar is a precious commodity we don't want to squander it on just anything. And so in an era that we live in where just about any beef breed actually gives us 20 to 30 different genetic values in the forms of EPDs or dollar values and selection indices, we want to spend that bull buying dollar on genetic potential that gives us the most bang for our buck. And it's important for operations to take this into consideration. We realize that future marketing plans on calves might change. Weather, climate, certain issues are gonna dictate. Maybe we end up selling more of a calf crop earlier than what we intended to. But that long-term plan and, and thinking about what's gonna be going on in our operation for the next two to five years should really have a lot of impact on how we spend our bull buying dollar. Interestingly enough, this morning here as we tape, We've got a cow-calf boot camp extension program taking place. You see a group of our attendees behind me, and Dr. Parker Henley is actually going through an exercise with them where we take a look at four or five different bulls, four or five different sets of genetic information on those bulls, and looking at them in four to five different production scenarios, and on a good set of bulls that look the part visually, and have got the right kind of body type and muscle thickness and skeletal base, it's really that genetic potential that influences where those bulls are the best fit if we're in situations where we need calving ease versus knowing we're gonna keep a set of daughters as replacements versus maybe knowing we're gonna sell wean calves versus knowing that our plan is gonna to be to retain ownership on those calves all the way through finishing and selling them on a carcass value basis. As I always say, I hope this helps. I appreciate all of you joining us this, joining us this week on Cow-Calf Corner.